Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official launching of the International Student Competition in Architectural Design and Construction of Bamboo 2021. I hope everyone is feeling great today, and most importantly, staying safe and healthy. My name is Guma Sylvester, a MASA representative, and I will be your MC for today. This competition is co-organized by South China University of Technology, Nanshan Bird Park, and University Tunku Abdul Rahman, Malaysia. And it's also supported by Putubuan Architect Malaysia, or PAM, Malaysia Bamboo Society, Center of um, Sustainable Architecture, and Malaysia Architecture Student Alliance, or MASA. All right, before we continue, I would like to invite architect Ajanta, who is also the PAM chairman for education, and is also one of the juries for this competition, to say a few opening words. Hi, architect Ajanta, how are you today? Hi, Guma. Thank you. I'm fine. All right, all right. <laughs> nice to meet I'll you here, pass. Guma. Yeah, I'll pass the floor to you. Thank you, Guma. Right. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Good evening. My name is architect Adrian Taziz. On behalf of PAM Education Committee, well, I would like to welcome everyone to the official launching of International Student Competition in Architectural Design and Construction of Bamboo Year 2021. Co-organized by South China University of Technology, Nansha Bird Park, and supported by Malaysian Bamboo Society and COSA, Center of Sustainable Architecture, and of course, by MASA, Malaysia Architecture Student Alliance, and PAM, Pertubuhan Architect Malaysia, Malaysian Institute of Architects. Well, first of all, I would like to echo again to wish congratulations to last year winners who won competition champion for second place and third place for international level uh, student teams from Utah, yeah, University of Tunku Abdul Rahman. Well, last year theme was uh, Waterfront Bird uh, Watching Pavilion. And the winners has unleashed the potential that is in another and you unleash the potential that is in you. So this achievement is to inspire others by becoming an example and sharing their thoughts and actions and helping others to achieve their dreams. Well, this year competition with a theme inspired by traditional art and craft. As you know, man's relationship with bamboo goes back many thousands of years. Bamboo has been a tool, a foot, and a building in materials. People have used bamboo to make weapon also, and even musical instruments. Over the course of our long and colorful history, bamboo and humanity have exchanged many lessons and secrets. Bamboo has inspired us with its utility, its elegance, and its resilience. We have honored bamboo with arts, crafts, and music, and especially with ideas and inspiration through architecture. Well, remember, to respect the flexibility of bamboo, the Chinese proverb preaches the virtue of humanity. Be like bamboo. The higher you grow, the deeper you bow. So greatness should not be measured in sheer strength or superiority to other, but the one's ability to bow down to others with modesty and compassion. So this is what I try to interpret to all the students here. Architecture is for society. Even the Malay's proverb said, melentuh buluh biarlah dari rebungnya. So it makes it something of a paragon for human character. While raw strength is important. So the ability to bend and adapt is for more valuable. What I'm trying to say here to all the students and participants, do your best not to become a student of success only, but become a student and winners 
of value. So however, no matter what, to participate in this competition, winning is not everything here. But one thing to win is the effort. So just go and learn, observe, explore, sharing, innovating, and of course, enjoying this bamboo competition. So I wish you all the best. Let's inspire by the past and build for the future and win this competition with your value and proud to be Malaysian architecture students. So Malaysia, Boleh. So get ready student for the best chapter in your life. I wish you all the best. Thank you. So I'll pass back to Guma now. Okay. Thank you very much, architect Adrianta, for that very refreshing opening words. Next, I would like to invite Enchi Abdul Muluk bin Abdul Manan. He is a lecturer in uh, Unisi Tunku Abdurrahman, a PEM council member, and is also a member of Lembaga Architect Malaysia. And he will be in charge of this bamboo competition in Malaysia. Let's welcome Enchi Muluk. How are you today, Enchi Muluk? Sorry, Enchi Muluk. Yeah. Good, sorry, I forgot to <laughs> unmute. <laughs> No worries. I'll pass the floor to you now. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Greetings, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us this uh, evening for the briefing and launching of the uh, competition 2021. Uh, let me share the screen. Yeah. Okay, uh, <clears throat> before I start briefing uh, all of you about the competition, let me introduce uh, a little bit uh, background about this competition. The Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area Association of Southeast Asia Nation International College Design and Construction Competition was held uh, since uh, 2018. Uh, Initially, it was held uh, among only a few countries uh, between uh, ASEAN countries and also the universities in the region of uh, this Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. <clears throat> but starting from 2019, uh, they had invited a uh, representative from Malaysia to participate in this competition. Okay, initially, uh, we as a, a co-organizer participate in this competition as a, a, rep, a representing Malaysia on a point uh, by the organizer because of our association with a uh, university who has already participated in this competition. So, um, so at that time, uh, Utah and USN was uh, selected to represent Malaysia to build the, uh, the, the, the structure in Guangzhou. <clears throat> okay. So this is the team that we sent to Guangzhou. The competition is actually not only designing, but then uh, the one that is selected got the chance to travel to the site, which is in Guang, Guangzhou uh, city. Nansha Bird Park is about 20 kilometers from Guangzhou city. And, uh, they will build this structure and then they will be judged not only based on the design, based on the presentation, based on the structure, based on a lot of other things. So basically when we went there, it's our first experience on this uh, such a competition and we met with this other international com uh, competitor from Indonesia and also this other team from Malaysia, the three lecturer from USM and uh, uh, some of the uh, students uh, member of the team from Malaysia. Okay, this is where the competition was held. This uh, Thai pavilion was completed in 2019. Uh, it's about a month before the competition started. So as you can see, it's a wonderful structure made of bamboo, which really inspire uh, us to see the potential of using bamboo as a real construction material 
So it is not just merely building, uh, maybe like sculpture or furniture, but actual building. So in 2020, they also have completed the Indonesian Pavilion, which is a three-story bamboo building uh, at the park itself. But uh, unfortunately, because the competition in 2020 was moved online, so we do not have the chance to visit the pavilion yet. Uh, Inshallah, if we have uh, uh, the opportunity, we want to go and see how is this structure, which is about double the size of this Thai pavilion. And this uh, photo also uh, we took together with the other international team. So besides participating in the competition, we also got the chance to network with architecture students and lecturer uh, from uh, the international community. So this is the structure that we, the students built. Uh, for They spent eight days to build these structures. And finally, uh, when it's completed, light up like this uh, with the with the lake, with the swan surrounding the building and, and stuff. So it's very, very a nice experience. And this is just to show uh, some of you, uh, I mean, some of the structure which is built by the students at the park. Uh, from Hong Kong, from Macau, uh, the one that looked like the uh, Red Indian Tepi is actually the one that built by the USM team. And then you have the Turtle Pavilion, which won the uh, first prize in 2019 competition. And then this is another entry from Indonesia. And you can see also uh, the small image of the one that was built by the Thailand, uh, from Thailand, and also from uh, Shanghai University, which won the first prize on the structure category. And these are the, the things that we bring to China, which is the four A1 size board and the model that we built from the university and bring to the site, beside the uh, building itself. Okay, then come 2020 competition. Um, as I mentioned just now, it is a move online and uh, the same format also. And the, the price has been added to the overall price. So that's why uh, for 2020, uh, price is quite lucrative. Instead of 3,000 ringgit initially in 2019, it has been raised double to 6,000 ringgit. And now instead of one champion, we have two champions. Both receive 6,000 ringgit uh, cash beside other prices like trophy and certificates. So it's quite lucrative in terms of the price and managed to attract uh, 30 team. Uh, but, uh, submitting the uh, the registration form, but unfortunately, only 21, I think, submitted the final scheme. And the judging was held uh, at PAM uh, Center, because at that time, you are allowed to travel, but uh, not meeting uh, physically. And the winner, these two are the team that has been chosen as the winner. Okay, so this is showing, uh, so instead of the student themselves has to construct the, the structure in, in Guangzhou, uh, in Nansha Bird Park, what we did is actually we have to supervise their contractor online. So using uh, communication tools, which is uh, compatible to uh, both sides, which is WeChat. You know? uh, we, they don't use, it seems like they don't use Facebook, they don't use uh, WhatsApp, they use WeChat. So the student actually communicate uh, with the contractor in China using uh, WeChat. And this is how they interpret the student's uh, construction drawing and build this thing. We, of course, the, the, with the help of models and also we, we show them uh, how, how to build the structure for us. Okay, these are the uh, first prize winner at the international level. Later, I will share with you the, uh, uh, the video of uh, the first prize winner because the our, our structure won second prize and third prize at the international level. Uh, two months after the final competition, uh, the uh, some of the structure, selected structure from the Nansha Bird Park was transformed to, uh, to the city center, was transferred to the city center because uh, Nansha Bird Park was located about, is located about 20 kilometers from Guangzhou city. So I think in order for them to get more exposure in terms of the uh, uh, promotional usage of bamboo, 
they bring the structure to the Guangzhou city and build the structure there for the uh, autumn festival, uh, uh, flora festival. Uh, so as you can see now, the backdrop has changed from the bird park, it went to the uh, Guangzhou city. As you can see, that's the uh, Canton Tower at the backdrop of one of the structure. This one is a, a structure which is uh, built by the student from uh, South China University of Technology. And uh, that is the structure that they transfer, uh, the structure that from Malaysia. And the center one is uh, from, uh, from uh, Thailand. And the other one is uh, also from, China, uh, from Hong Kong. And I forgot to mention, this one is uh, both are from, China, uh, from Indonesia. One is from Bali and the other one is from Kalimantan. University in Kalimantan. I can't remember what is the name of the, uh, the university. But uh, this one is, uh, 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 sorry, not from Bali. Uh, this one is from Yogyakarta. The university is in uh, Yogyakarta. Okay. Uh, for this year competition, we also plan to conduct a bamboo workshop. So, uh, but we did not confirm yet because we haven't got the expert who has uh, agreed to uh, share their experience in the bamboo competition. So this is just to share uh, what we did last year. Uh, these are the two winners. And then we have, uh, finally, we're gonna have the prize uh, presentation uh, ceremony at the end of the program. So uh, let me share uh, with you the, uh, the brief for the competition. Okay. Last year, the theme for the competition is bamboo watching pavilion, bird watching pavilion. Okay. Uh, this year, it is not a bird watching pavilion anymore. As I mentioned just now, now we have two sites, not only in the Nansha bird park itself, we have a site also which is located on an island uh, on, in Pearl River in uh, Guangzhou city. So the site has become more glamorous now. Eh? And then the theme that they choose for this year's competition, uh, bamboo art space inspired by traditional art and craft. So later I'm gonna explain what it means by uh, traditional art and craft. Eh? Okay, of course, this is the introduction. These are some example of the things that you can use as an inspiration for you to come up with this uh, bamboo space, eh? bamboo exhibition space. You can use, uh, of course, the, the traditional product that use uh, bamboo, like baskets, like furniture, like uh, wow, uh, the kites, and also uh, these uh, clarai patterns and all that. Eh? But you can also use other traditional art and craft, like dance, like uh, 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 goldsmith, anything that relate to traditional art and craft as your inspiration. So meaning that it's not specifically just asking you to use uh, uh, baskets or to use uh, 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 bamboo uh, traditional product. You can derive your inspiration from other form of art and craft even uh, performing art and craft also can be used as the inspiration. This is just uh, some example to in, in, initiate your, uh, your uh, ideas. And these are the, the Nansha bird park. Uh, as you can see, this is a Google map view of uh, the Nansha bird park. The, dot, the red dots are all the existing bamboo structure, which has already been uh, built at the site. So now they have identified the second location, which is on this island, uh, uh, which is uh, the 20 is going to be the 29th Guangzhou Garden Expo ground at Hashinsha Square. So Hashinsha is a small artificial island. This is the island that they uh, built in the middle of the Pearl River. Uh, initially was built for the ASEAN Games uh, Expo, but now it become like a, a a place uh, for recreational. And this is where they plan to build the winning bamboo structure in, uh, in, the, uh, in the river there. 
Okay, the competition rule. Uh, find a prototype derived from a traditional technique, develop or transform it into innovative design to form a bamboo art space. Uh, the bamboo art space meaning that you can uh, interpret whatever is that like a gallery, but uh, just a small gallery to showcase like some traditional pictures and to explain about the uh, the traditional craft art and craft. Now, the size within six meter diameter at the base and seven meter at the top. Minimum height is five meter and maximum height is seven meter. And then it is recommended to be compact and precise and showcasing the design concept. So as you can see, the earlier examples that we show, all the structure that was built in Nansha Bird Park is basically within that uh, parameter of the brief. Right? <clears throat> the main structure must be bamboo. Uh, structure, spin integration combined with the other material, uh, uh, as long as 90% uh, of the materials are bamboo. It's still fine. You can combine it with timber, steel, and other material uh, to make up the structure. You know, maybe you need to have some steel uh, member to hold on the or to join the bamboo. It's all up to you. But the main 90% uh, of the structure must be made of bamboo and has to consider uh, night view. The, the emphasis is very much on the night view because uh, most of the time, uh, especially when these structures are located. Uh, by the river, so the reflection on the water play an important role on the judging of the whole scheme. So you need to show your uh, lighting design for the building as well. So these are show, showing some of the existing uh, bamboo structure. As uh, in the center there, you see again the uh, USM structure, uh, symphony. I can't remember what is the title. I think something like symphony something. You know where they put the lights and they're supposed to have different height. Uh, and that creates some different feeling when people go through the uh, uh, the bamboo structure. <clears throat> and these are the structure uh, the uh, the structure that has been trans transported to uh, Guangzhou City and built in the city itself for the uh, Guangzhou Garden Expo. Okay, for the schedule of the competition, so the today is the online registration uh, open. And you can submit together with the form that has been distributed via the WhatsApp group under nine, uh, I think uh, Masa uh, Masa what uh, WhatsApp and also uh, Pam uh, WhatsApp, and it will be uh, blasted to every member of uh, Pam Education uh, and then whoever that is uh, interested to participate in this competition. Okay. Uh, deadline of registration is 22nd of uh, July, and then deadline for the submission is 27th of uh, August. So basically, we have uh, about a month or so for them to design, enough time for them to come up with a concept, to come up with the drawings, to come up with the video presentation. And date of judging, the first stage of judging, we're going to shortlist 20 entries, which is on the 4th of September. And then we give time for the winner or the shortlisted uh, design about one month, uh, about three weeks for them to improve the design and come up with a final video uh, for the final judging on the 25th of September. And the date for the international competition judging is on the 12th of no, uh, December. So the Main organizer has requested for at least about one and a half months for them to construct the winning team uh, 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 on the site itself. So that's why the timeline is a bit tight this year. Uh, last year, the closing date is somewhere in, uh, in, uh, in, in October, but this year, the closing uh, date and the date of judging, final judging is September because we have to uh, follow the timeline that is given by the international competition. Okay. All right. Uh, the rest of the uh, uh, things are similar to last mess, uh, last year uh, competition. Total of six members, including one lecturer. You have to remember that this competition is uh, a, a university com uh, competition against uh, each other. I mean, it's not. Uh, just student. So we need participation of 
lecturer to advise the student, especially on the technical aspect. So that's why in the team formation, they requested to have one, at least one faculty member or a lecturer or a supervisor to be part of the team. So it's not just supervising. So they are actually part of the competitor, uh, comp uh, uh, competition, uh, competition team. Yeah? Okay. Um, and then the deliverables, of course, these are the uh, things. And then after that, 20 shortlisted uh, finalists have to come up with the working drawing, one is 250, construction details and stuff. Anonymity and confidentiality, just like any other competition, we want the judging to be uh, based, uh, to be fair. So no uh, uh, names appear on the board. When you submit your registration form, the organizer is going to give you the entry code that's going to be put on your uh, box and also video. Okay? And then these are the scoring, 50% on design, 30% on the structure, and 20% on the presentation, on the communication. Okay? Overall mark, 100%. And these are the prizes. Uh, two champion will receive 6,000 trophy, a certificate, and a chance to participate in the international level competition. So in a response to the impact of the pandemic and the movement control order, the structure will be built by professional construction team appointed by the organizer. But still, you will be experiencing on how to supervise. This one is added experience for those winners because you, you are supervising it remotely from here for the, the, for the building to be built in uh, China. Second runner up, uh, sorry, first runner up will receive cash of 2,000 ringgit, also two teams, trophy and certificate. Uh, second runner up will get a cash price of 1,000 ringgit, trophy and certificate, and there is going to be five consolation prize with uh, 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 300 ringgit. And like last year also, all the shortlisted uh, participant will receive uh, 100 ringgit as uh, uh, incentive for them for the model making and all the material that they spend for the competition. So these are the uh, six juries that have been uh, appointed by the international level competition. Number one is Sheng Yu Hong, chairman of Yang Cheng Design Alliance. They are the main sponsor for the uh, competition in China, international level. He's also an architect and he also uh, a chairman of this uh, uh, Yang Cheng Design Alliance. They have built a few buildings in Guangzhou. So uh, last year also he was one of the judges. Uh, then we have our own architect Adrianta Aziz as a PAM Education Committee Chairman. Uh, then we have Zhong Kuang Q, lecturer from South China University of Technology. They are the co-organizer. And then we have the Major, uh, Major Ahmad Mazlan Osman, Malaysian Bamboo Society President. He's an engineer and he also has a bamboo farm uh, in north of Selangor. And then we have the Dr. Lim Po Im, Center of uh, Sustainable Architecture and Landscape Architect uh, Bei Jin Hang uh, from Utah. Uh, then all the uh, things are common and then this is the registration form. Uh, frequently asked questions are all in the pack, uh, uh, the registration pack. Okay, now let me share with you uh, the competition winner. Before I invite one of the winner, uh, one of the team representative to share with you the experience of participating in this competition. Uh, let us uh, see uh, uh, their, their work. Huh? I'm going to show you three, uh, three work here. The site chosen is located at Nan Shabut Park, at the mouth of the Pearl River, at the southern end of Guangzhou. It is close to the ocean and has a good natural ecological environment, which is a habitat for more than 100,000 migratory birds that migrate in the winter. The Union Lease Pavilion is envisioned from the inner and outer aesthetic of lotus and to represent intense passion, tremendous individuality, a sense of fun. A pretty determination. The overall form is a quick and ultimate likeness embodied steadily, 
Manitoba Bank Performance Coach that celebrates the reunion of water polo at winners by the visitors. It is more than a pavilion, but also a living showcase. The intention is to create three abstractions of special units, which touching the water, summer steamer, and rain down, and reflected from the biology of waterfall to allow birds nesting from the air and bird nesting in the pavilion during the seasonal changes for the visitors to catch every moment of waterfall. The multiports of the village provide shelter and shades to visitors, while the juxtapositions of the branches nestle the same area for the waterfalls. In such blissful reunion, humans and birds coexist under the protections of the village. When one looks up, one will be in awe with the cheerful birds, frolicking, building love nests, and singing in blissful, choppy echoes. The profile and the lovely of the roof have created a visual dynamic architecture and beauty and the looking of waterfalls in print. The informatic statement is provided and pointed to the downstream of Pearl Road. The parapetic roof structure expresses the spirit of persistency and consistency, which is influenced from the ecology of lotus flower. And the lotus flower is projected outward while maintaining a graceful and elegant composition. During phase one, the columns are located according to the golden ratio design and slavery to express the feeling of dynamic. In phase two, the structural facade are supported at the columns connected by the secondary beams that arrange in radial arrangement. While adding the branches on the multiples of bleach and the canvas are also tied on the top of the structural facade. The roof is then linked together by three primary beams. During the phase three, the bamboo platform are constructed at the center, while the bamboo railing is partially surrounded for the safety purpose, with also expressing the feelings of dynamic and hierarchy in a different perspective. Next, the bird feeding components, chandelier, and tree benches are installed at the columns and platforms respectively. The last phase, water lamps are placed on the water, and the rope lamp gives the feelings of welcomeness to the visitor. Each node, light, and shadow shuttle on the radial structure, casting onto water, symbolizing the enlightenment of blessing on Rai Kranto Festival and resonance of destiny between waterfalls and people. In the overall, imaginary will become a picture of appreciate the peaceful and natural valley arch, combining the scenes to achieve visual enjoyment reflecting the tranquility between animate and inanimate, which blossoming on murky water, it remains immaculate through the performance of bamboo. Reunion Day, a mutual coexistence between humans, birds, and blissful harmony between heaven and earth. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the basics. The pavilion visits the basics of bird watching at Nansa Bertha. Through the concept of gesture, a series of hand motions when really bird watch. A gesture is elegant, concise, and connects it with nature. Hence, our bird watching pavilion seeks to achieve these purposes through the building hand gesture as follows. Well. First, the slide selection is inspired by the framing gesture. By framing the map, we selected the perfect site on an existing timber deck. By framing the scenes, the best angle is selected to view the sunrise on the top. The location at the center of the river could blur the line between the bird and the human. Second, 
The form of P is inspired by the distant view of that shape. Between four times form of this, the form resembles a hand motion of bird watching from far. The pavilion seeks to touch the river lightly as it is lightweight and suspended. It bends itself into the park like a graceful Chinese painting. Third, the function is inspired by the binocular view gesture. The tunnel space cut off all distraction for us to bond visually with the birds. The medication strain allows us to bond mentally with the nature, while the bird stand enables us to bond physically with the bird, like bird feeding. Lastly, the structure and the material are inspired by the anatomy of texture. The primary structure is the skeleton, the secondary layer is the muscle, while the surface is the skin. The special purple skin made the pavilion look like as a sculpture, complementing the scenes and ecosystem of Nansa Park. So, let's move on to the assembly process of the pavilion. Step 1, the preview platform is provided by the organizer. Step 2, the base column which supports the floor structure are anchored onto the platform. Step 3, small bamboo strips are mounted on the floor structure as floor finishes. Step 4, small long columns are erected with the purpose to hold the roof structure fitted. Step 5, the main roof structure is mounted on the steel footing located on both sides of the public. Step 6. The secondary envelope structure is connected to the floor structure and main roof structure. Step 7. The swing, the O-ring, and the stack is come next. Step 8. The whole structure is wrapped by the unconventional purple bamboo like a breathing scheme. So, ladies and gentlemen, back to the basics. The gesture and gait. Through the display of the previous video, an overall impression of our project has been established. Next, we will introduce in detail from three aspects. First is the introduction of design concepts. Every year tens of thousands of birds travel long distances to the Nancha wetland. The 
migratory bird paradise, and then gradually leave the next year, repeating again and again, like a cycle, based on the bird watching concept of light intervention and low profile. We divide bird watching into four states of watching, whisper, quiet, and hiding, and combine sight elements to create a bird watching method that takes the adaptability into account, integrating into the natural environment of the site, and creating a rich bird watching experience. Are the origins of ideas in response to the sight relationship through the adjustment of the plane relationship. The effect of concealing people when entering the site and widening the field of vision during bird watching can be achieved, and a rich spatial effect can be formed through adduction, rotation, and wrapping. In the thinking of the shape finding process, we hope to give full play to the characteristics of bamboo materials flexibility and bearing capacity. And combine with Chinese bamboo weaving art to create a spatial effect of internal interweaving, and finally form the overall view of the building in the site. Next, we will talk about construction. Before the one-one physical construction, we simulated and experimented the construction logic and effects through a one-ten small model, and optimized the proportions of the form and the facade under the condition of ensuring reasonable structural mechanics. The main building uses raw bamboo as the main material, and at the same time uses steel structures in the important corner nodes and base foundations to ensure the stability and practicability of the project. During the specific construction, the safety and feasibility of the construction are ensured by stepping the roof construction and the elevation construction. From the display of the following set of pictures, we can see the detailed nodes. And overall modeling view after the actual construction. The third part is from project design to effect realization, which is also a highlight of the our project. The penetration of the design concept and the implementation of the construction have made the project realize the unity of concealment and bird watching vision. Below, we will show the visual view of different directions through a set of animations and photos. Enter the building from the square and pass through it. With the view first retracted and then released to avoid disturbing the birds. Looking around from the surroundings of the building, people's shadows are looming, and the line of sight can be obscured. Sitting still and looking up at the sky, occasionally birds fly by. It can be described as a combination of movement and static. The bird watching platform is visible in the environment, surrounded by plants. Whether it is along the lake to the entrance plaza, or from the opposite bank of the bird watching platform to the south through the lake and the island, in the middle of the lake, it forms a garden-like place experience. When night fell, the bird watching platform and the reflection in the lake formed a semicircle, echoing the bright moon in the sky, which was quite artistic. Humanized design is an important factor considered in our works. Therefore. We have created different usage scenarios for people of different ages from the perspective of interaction and comfort. Visitors can sit and watch the birds or overlook the lake. Here, children can enjoy the changes in spatial relationships and the agility of natural light and shadow. So that is the video of the. Sorry. The video of the winner of last year competition, the international winner, is from a university in China. So they managed to construct the bamboo structure themselves, and then include that in their final video presentation for the judging. So for our purposes, for Malaysian level. You just need to showcase uh, how to construct the structure using model. Uh, one is twenty uh, scale model as specified in the brief. So before I uh, end my uh, session here, uh, I want to invite uh, one of the winner, one of the team member of the winning team that represent uh, Malaysia in the international competition, to share his uh, experience.
uh, uh, Brian, are you here? Yes, yes, Mr. Mulu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, good evening. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, Brian, uh, can you share uh, with us, with all of us, about your experience uh, first uh, participating in this competition, number mm -hmm. two, winning the national level, and then uh, got the chance to represent Malaysia in the international competition? And maybe share a little bit uh, of your experience supervising the construction work during the construction process. And then uh, maybe you also share with us how much money you win for this competition. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Muluk and uh, the organizer for inviting me for this uh, sharing on these great sessions. And yeah, and uh, for the experience I want to share for this uh, competition is I think it's a, it's a part of a journey of this uh, architecture uh, studies. Uh. And I think I would like to share with here is actually the uh, team spirit, which is very important uh, in this uh, competition. And then um, this competition runs maybe around uh, four to five weeks for this project. Uh, and uh, we actually do everything uh, together. Uh. That's why we come with this uh, team spirit is very important. And uh, I think the this one is actually really good exposure and uh, experience for all of this uh, group works and then um, it looks like a team building uh, activities uh, first of all and then so the in the end that uh, that's how makes us uh, actually successfully achieve our goal and for the experience of uh, construction uh, phase i like to share with which is the coordination and the uh, communication is very crucial and uh, we uh, liaise with the contractors on the side of uh, China over there. So we actually, as mentioned by Mr. Muluk just now, we actually use uh, WeChat to um, coordinate them and also uh, communicate as a vice versa. And uh, I personally think this uh, is a memorable uh, and a great exposure and competition to participate by everyone during this uh, universal university uh, study years. Uh, becomes a great memory for all of them and um, for the prizes that we win is actually uh, uh, 12,000 ringgits that uh, we actually among to be able to um, maybe use it to join any other uh, competition as well it's a very beneficial to the students so um, I hope everyone will uh, take part in this uh, and participate in this competition I think it's a very great exposure for the students all right, uh, we'll pass back to you, Mr. Mulo. Uh, wait, I have a question to you, uh, which I think a lot of students, uh, how do you divide the time between the studio work and also participating in this competition? Because I think many, uh, because this competition is not part of your studio work, so this is on mm -hmm. top of uh, the existing studio. When you mm -hmm. are joining this uh, competition, you are in uh, Studio 5, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, um, I think this one is more on the curriculum activities mm -hmm. and then we actually um, treat it as a part, uh, so-called being called as a part-time uh, project. Lah. But this one, I take this project is during my uh, Studio 5, which is a uh, 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 year, two, year 2 studio. So then we actually do these uh, activities during uh, our free sessions like weekend. So then, and then we uh, coordinate ourselves. For the task and the uh, the work task workloads. Mm. Okay. Do you manage to get anything uh, that you can share with us? Maybe some sketches or some models that you make. Uh, uh, because I think this is important. Mm. So the other student who aspire to join this competition can see that actually remotely we can also work in a team, mm. and you know share the responsibility or distribute the the amount of work among uh, among the team. All right, I do have some of the pictures uh, with me right now. Uh, okay. Like one moment, yeah, I would like to share the screen right now. Right, share your screen. One moment, yeah. Okay, so this is the um, the pictures I've managed to get from uh, my teammates. Uh, unfortunately, I had I didn't get the full file of this. Uh, uh, 
project, but then it's most, only the part of the picture that I get is the construction uh, pictures where it is uh, already built on the site. Lah. So this one is actually prepared by the contractors. And uh, show in full screen so we can see uh, more details. Oops. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So this one is the pictures of the site where um, we managed to able to get from the contractors and actually we uh, com communicate with them through WhatsApp, uh, sorry, through WeChat with uh, all those uh, details and the construction phase from this platform and then we're moving on to the uh, bamboo constructions. And then I would also like to share with you is which is the final completions of work, work, work uh, project which is um, a bit of the communication, which is, uh, uh, I find it very um, interesting because it seems the first time for us to uh, so-called break the norms. We usually architects and designer will go to the site, but this time we actually uh, just communicating through the uh, uh, digital platform. And then they also, some of the pictures and they also uh, can be, uh, modular can be moving on to other side as well uh mr muldo i have to uh, apologize for this because i don't have uh, any other pictures that i get uh, unfortunately only these uh, pictures okay. so yeah okay. mm, that's all that's all from my side uh, give some idea for the student how actually uh you know the maybe the satisfaction of seeing mm -hmm. the process of the structure that you design being built and also mm. some frustration when you look at the actual building, not same as what you <laughs> designed for, you know, but finally they managed to bend the bamboo according to your design in the final scheme, right? So mm. in the judging, uh, I mean, I can understand the frustration when they say they cannot bend the bamboo uh, to create that uh, very important part of the structure to make it uh, uh, as uh, the intention of the designer. But anyway, these are all the uh, uh, what architects went through also in their uh, construction experience. I think some they have to uh, sort of like compromise uh, compromise in terms of the design. But thank uh, anyway, I would like to thank you, uh, Brian. Uh, right. And I think you are still now you are in your studio six, right? Your final. Yep. Yes. So uh, uh, do you think you are going to join the competition again i think i would like to advise if any one of them uh, invite me <laughs> yeah so yes maybe yeah, i will i think uh, uh i know final year final semester uh, it's not uh, you know you need to focus on your design work mm -hmm. but uh, my first experience when i was in guangzhou china the usm team actually sent their master student uh, four master students and three lecturers support to supervise their work. So uh, we can understand sometimes, uh, you know, junior student may not have enough experience to come up with uh, such a structure. They really need to have support from senior lecturer. So that's why in the brief also we encourage, we try to encourage students from cross uh, semester, from you know senior semester, maybe. Help, uh, help by their junior uh, junior students. So I think uh, for this competition, I would like to encourage that to happen in other universities as well, where the team is mixed from master students maybe, and some final year student and uh, second year uh, also first year students. So they can, can learn and each other and we can uh, uh, create that cross learning, especially during this very difficult time where everyone uh, cannot meet physically. You only can uh, meet uh, virtually like this. Anyway, I think uh, uh, that is about uh, all that I'm. I want to share uh, with all of you about the competition. We has been emailing the uh, brief, the competition brief to every university. Please let us know if you haven't got the brief yet. Either you can contact Masa, you can contact uh, Pam. Uh, through PEM Education Committee, 
uh, and also you can contact me personally uh, then I can uh, I'm actually representing Mr. Tan Kok Hong as the convener of the competition this one is the inter-university because they have signed MOU between uh, Nansha Bird Park and University Tunku Abdul Rahman we're going to organize this Malaysian level competition for the at least next five years so uh, so we have a, a, a bigger plan for this, but that was for that is for another day for for me to share about our, our 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 plan. But for today, I want to encourage all of you to participate in this competition. The benefit is not only in terms of the monetary rewards that you're going to win, but also the experience. You where where else that you can get the chance to see the things that you design today in next three months is going to be built in china not in, in 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 our country so you have a lot of experience networking communication skills and 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 narratives as you can see just now the video presentation the winner from china you know how they are uh, uh, using technology to help them presenting their work because i suspect maybe their pronunciation of some english words are not very good so they use machine to <laughs> to present their, their video. But whatever it is, I think uh, in, in, in present time, we use whatever that we can to communicate the idea that we have to our audience or our client. So I think uh, with that, I'm gonna end my, uh, my talk. I think after this, maybe we can have some question and answer session for a short while, MC. So then I return the mic back to uh, Mr. Guma. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, thank you, Inchimuluk, and also Brian for that very interesting sharing. I think it's very inspiring for um, students, especially now, nowadays um, in MCO, to be able to have a chance to design something and actually uh, getting it built. So I hope you guys gain a lot of um, information about this competition and, uh, and excited to participate on it. So right now we'll um, have a few uh, questions and uh, Q&A session. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions uh, feel free to type them down in the uh, chat section in the zoom or uh, facebook and we will um, attend to to them shortly yeah or if you guys are um wanted to um talk as well you can open your mic and also ask directly to uh, Inchimulu. Yeah. Or maybe there's no question because my presentation is <laughs> very good. <Yeah. laughs> Probably it's too um, in depth and uh, interesting enough. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Anyone has any questions about the or further um, yeah, inquiries or um, yeah, about the competition? Maybe we'll give like maybe one or two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, kalau kita nak uh, masuk competition ni, so kita kena register dengan student kita mesti dalam uh, graduate membership dengan PEM ke? Student member. Okay, student member. Student member. And then untuk enter this uh, competition tu, uh, sorry, bikin saya terlepas lah kot tadi. Ada macam mana nak nak mendaftarkan tu? Uh, just fill up the form and email it to nanshabambu at gmail.com uh, Okay, the, the form is in nanshabambu? Uh, the form has been distributed. Uh, Encik Razak kan dalam education committee kan? <laughs> dalam education committee tu dah distribute dah their form. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, the form tu just isi and then email it to the uh, to the uh, to the organizer nanshabambu at gmail.com uh, Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Okay, let me see, eh? um, yeah, we have one question from um, uh, Facebook from Xinyan. 
she asks, can a graduate student but getting a new cert in November participate in this competition? Uh, as long as they have not graduated, uh, meaning that uh, I think most university recognize the graduation day when they receive their scroll as the completion of their uh, their studies in the university. So, um, and as you can see in the eligibility requirement, as long as you are still registered with the university as a student, uh, upon submission of your form, uh, then you are eligible to participate in the competition. So I think if your graduation is in November, you are eligible because the closing date for the registration is this month. Then I think I can remember what, 22nd of July, maybe something like that. So which is this month, which is you still are recognized as a student. Then you need, you can form your own team and submit the form and uh, you are eligible. Of course, you have to be a PAM student member. Eh? And that is also a prerequisite for this competition. Okay, cool. I hope that uh, answers your question, uh, Shin Yan. Yeah, you can still participate before uh, you great, uh, get the cert. Um, okay, another question. Uh, is this competition open to polytechnic students? Yes. As you mentioned just now, it's all open to any uh, institution of higher learning that is registered with uh, the Ministry of Higher Education, either from polytechnic, from College Kemahiran, Mara, College Community, any uh, university. And it's not necessarily architecture only. It can be engineering, it can be uh, any course. Uh, it doesn't specify that you have to be from architecture faculty or architecture school to participate in this competition. But you have to represent your university. Uh, and and the team has to be made up from everyone from the same university. It cannot be, you know, uh, two from uh, uh, Polytechnic in Kuoma and two from Polytechnic Sutamat Shah cannot. Has to come from same university because you are representing the university, including the lecturer. Has to come from the same university. Can be full time, can be part time, can be contract, can be flexi scheme or whatever scheme that your university have. I hope that's okay. a good question. Yeah, um, we have another question here by okay. Omar Shamil. I think it's uh, similar from with the question uh, answer you gave just now. He asked, uh, I he wondered if we can if he can team up with student that is not in architecture. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. can he team up with civil engineering student? I think yes, can. You know, uh, from uh, the some of the uh, team from Macau, for example. From based on my experience, they are engineering students. So in their submission, they have some engineering calculation in their uh, in their in the structure calculation for the bamboo structure. So there are actually uh, no, and then you can see just now the winner from China, uh, the the simulation that they make about different design of the bamboo is using some engineering software. So actually, uh, one of the scoring uh, scoring rules are actually uh, uh, the engineering side of it. So uh, if you can get engineer to participate in your team, it will be marvelous, and chances for you to win are more. I think. Cool. Yeah, hope um, that gives you a bit more insight on on that. Uh, we have another question from Tarek. Uh, yeah, from Tarek, I'm not sure how to uh, pronounce your last name, sorry. Uh, is it okay to have a team less than six members? Uh, minimum, uh, num okay, minimum number as specified in the brief, minimum number is uh, four, including one lecturer. So meaning that three students, one lecturer, that's the minimum number, four. Uh, maximum six, maximum number of lecturer is two. You can have your team uh, four student, two lecturer. That's the maximum. Okay. Or you can have five student, one lecturer. Can, but not less than four. Uh, because this is a team competition. The idea is, if you are alone, how are you gonna how are you gonna build this structure? Because the idea of it is, you yourself are going to build this structure uh, uh, when 
but if it is uh, selected as the winner. Okay, nice. Um, another question. Uh -huh. uh, can a foreign student studying architecture in Malaysia join this competition? Can, as long as they're registered with a registered university in Malaysia. And uh, they have to be that is, uh, it's not the nationality of the participants. It's the university. If they are representing a university in Malaysia or the uh, polytechnic or uh, colleges uh, institution in Malaysia, and they are registered with that university, they are eligible to participate. All right, nice. Uh, we have another question from Facebook um, from Yong Xuan. Uh, he asked, may he know where to get the registration form? The registration form is in the brief. So, um, Guma, uh, yeah. how can the student get in touch with you? Uh, okay, they can uh, get in touch with our Facebook. Maybe they can message us or our Instagram. Uh, yeah. We will uh, also help to post a, a new post. Maybe they can register from that as well, if that uh, will help. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that uh, answers the question. Uh, another question. Uh, can the previous team who have joined before uh, participate in this competition again? Yes, you can. There's no restriction. Uh, as uh, You can read the FAQ, eh? the frequently asked question. Basically, there's no restriction in the number of entry yeah, you want to participate in. You know, maybe if you want to form two teams, go ahead if you think you can win. So uh, we won uh, last year. You had the experience, I think uh, uh, you can win also. Uh, just to share you an experience, uh, as I mentioned just now, the first international competition was held in 2018. And the international winner was the University uh, Warmadewa from Indonesia. And the next year winner is the same team that won the competition from Warmadewa also, 2019. But then in 2020, because they have won two times, so the university decided maybe uh, they shouldn't participate uh, in the competition uh, last year, 2020, you know. And the uh, one that win the Indonesian level competition is one uh, entry from university in Yogyakarta and the other one in Kalimantan. But both teams didn't win first prize. So the Indonesian, were a little bit frustrated, you know, because actually the experts in bamboo are all in Bali, you know. So this year they say they're going to participate again because <laughs> they feel bad because, you know, uh, uh, the one that representing their country is not the best, according to them, you know. <laughs> uh, so, so that's why uh, uh, we don't have any restriction for past year winner to participate again or participate, uh, last year they have participated. Yeah, because uh, one of the uh, things that we want is for to popularize bamboo as a construction material. So, you know, if you participate one time, you are not the expert yet. You need to, you know, keep doing the same thing and finally you're going to be an expert. So that's if we, if from this competition, we manage to inspire some of you to maybe use bamboo or adopt bamboo as your favorite uh, material for your construction that will be good because I think one thing that uh, our country is lacking is the promotion of the usage of bamboo for construction material as compared to our neighboring country like Thailand like Indonesia you know the in Indonesia even in Vietnam we have one architect who are very famously known about their bamboo structure but in Malaysia we have only, only like maybe architect uh, uh, is it Elina Jamel? Yes, <laughs> Elina Jamel, uh, uh, Dr. Elina Jamel, uh, one of the more famous one. Of, of course, there are other architects, but because everybody know only about that structure in uh, Lake Garden, you know, uh, of course, there's a mosque uh, made of bamboo in Para, but it's not promoted. I think none of you <laughs> students know about the existing of this uh, bamboo mosque in Kuala Kangsa, right? Nobody knows about that because it's not being promoted. And also some other bamboo structure. So I think uh, that's on another 
uh, thing that we want to do. So I want to encourage some of the students who have already started to get in love with using bamboo for the structure to continue and maybe push uh, you know, to a higher level of using bamboo as a building construction material. Cool. Yeah, mm, that's uh, very exciting. Uh, another question. Can we use design project that uh, has already uh, participated in another competition? Uh, uh, I mean, it has to be original, eh? because uh, one, uh, as you can read the uh, the in the brief, it is stated that uh, the copyright, uh, it, although it belongs to you, but later it will be built. Uh, uh, the organizer has the right to use your drawing for uh, for promotion and also uh, for building this work uh, at the site. Eh? So if you have already participated in previous competition, maybe the copyright belongs to the, the organizer of that competition. Uh, so uh, I think in order for us not to have this kind of problem in the future, maybe some legal issues behind it, uh, you can modify your design, you know, uh, you can, I mean, just like any other architects do <laughs> when, you know, they just tweak and tone whatever a little bit here and there and it become a new design. Uh, and you have to remember this design has to be site specific. Uh, that's also another thing. That to be, that's why we give you two site plan, right? So I don't think that something that we can build uh, uh, in somewhere else can be built in China uh, by the Pearl River or things so again i leave it to your creativity but i think just like any other competition if you have already uh, participated in one competition maybe they have the rights to your materials you know so uh, when you want to participate in this competition what you need to do maybe you need to maybe change a little bit on the narratives or maybe on the concept or something you know so i think that's that that's my uh my thing i mean as the uh, uh, part of the organizer on our side, we will check uh, in, uh, whether we have any uh, plagiarism issues or whatnot. But you know, it's very difficult in architecture work, right? You know, uh, so I think uh, if we, but if we think that the, the submission is going to be controversial, we're going to leave it to the jury to decide later. Okay. Yeah. I hope that is uh, that's clear. Uh, another question. Uh, his PAM uh, student membership is still pending. Uh, to, re uh, to register the, will take some time. Uh, how how can we overcome this? Yeah, I don't think it will take some time. I think usually it's because uh, every membership uh, application has to go through the uh, PAM council meeting. So uh, they have the meeting every once a month. Uh, previously, but because of the pandemic, sometimes there are some issues that they cannot meet and all that. So that's why the delay sometimes. But usually it will be not more than one month. So I think uh, uh, you still have time because uh, registration is free. So once you register it's online, I think within the most is two weeks, I think you can get your registration, uh, your, uh, your student ID number. So if it is still pending, uh, as as long as you have registered, I think you are eligible to participate in this competition. Any anything you need, you can check with Chair Ridwan. Uh, uh, I think you know the uh, PAM Secretariat uh, on the status of your membership application. Mm -hmm. So what I will encourage student who has not yet but uh, register for PAM membership, quickly register online tonight. Also, you can register because it's online and it's free. And then follow up with a with an email or a call to the PAM uh, office tomorrow to confirm your submission, and then that will be faster. Sometimes uh, within one week or two weeks, you get already your number. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe I would like to also add. Uh, can register the PAM membership at www.mypam.org.my. Uh, so yeah, please register. Uh, there are a lot of benefits for architecture students. Um, and also you can um, uh, register to join to be able to join this um, competition yeah uh, okay maybe we take a, mo a few more questions uh, the next question is is there any admission fee required 
to join the competition? No, it's free. All right, cool. Um, yeah. So uh, maybe we'll have a few more questions, maybe one or two last questions. If you guys have any before we um, end this session for tonight. All right, um, I think there are no more questions so far. Okay, uh, again, thank you, Enchimolo, and thank you, uh, everyone, for joining us tonight for this official launching for this uh, competition. We hope you enjoyed it and inspired to join. Uh, do keep in touch in Masa's um, Instagram and Facebook to um, for more updates. And yeah, until then, uh, stay safe, um, stay healthy, and we will catch you um, next time. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Uh, bye, bye, everyone. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present this one. Uh, hope to see all of you. Uh, Guma, you can also participate in this competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, good night. Good night, Jimmy. Bye bye. Uh, good night. Bye.